Disclaimer, if you are triggered by divination, astrology, tarot, and worldly discussions, this channel is not for you. Please enjoy. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Wisdom and Light here, and I am back with another celebrity tarot prediction reading. So if you are new to this channel, welcome. <laughs> my name is Bianca, but most people on this channel that's been here from the beginning, they know me as Miss J. <laughs> and welcome to Wisdom and Light, where we do trending topic readings like this one, monthly horoscopes, which are coming. Those are uploading, but they're taking a thousand years to upload, but they'll just get here when they get here, child. And you know, we do whatever that's going on in the cosmos. I hope you guys are doing well. This weekend was really long. <laughs> this weekend was just a lot. And I know a lot of you wanted me to do a reading on the current events that happened in the Supreme Court and the law that was overturned regarding women. But I did make a prediction about that in mostly all of my world prediction videos. So um, I'll put the link in my description box so you guys can check it out because this was predicted for almost two years now, but in various different ways, okay? I didn't know how the focus was going to be put on women because God only really shows me what I'm what I'm what I'm allowed. I'm only able to see what I am allowed to see. I am not God. Even though I can see things, it can never go beyond what God has in store for us. So I'm thankful for my gift, but I respect when I'm not supposed to see every little detail basically, but it was predicted and I just couldn't start this reading without talking about that briefly, but sending you all love and when it comes to my opinion on it, I mean, well, mm, personally, I do feel like people that are supremacists and think that way are scared and because they're scared, they're doing what they're doing to preserve and that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> But this affects all of us. Unfortunately, we're a casualty of a war that they are losing. And I hate to say day because when you cut us, we're all, we all bleed the same color. It's not like when you cut them, they bleed purple. When you cut them, they bleed red. Just like if you cut us, we bleed red. But, you know, hey, there's so much division in this country and it's unfortunate. But that's really my take on it. And I hope you guys had a good weekend despite everything. And my heart goes out to all of you. Um, and this affects men as well. It affects everyone, really. But granted, that's not what this reading is about. We are gathered here today to talk about some mess. Um, if you guys were stressed about Roe versus Wade, then you guys probably don't know that Omarion and them, Omarion, well, B2K, Pleasure P, Ray J, they... Ray J, yeah. Um, Bobby Valentino, Mario, all of them except Mario got on stage and played in our faces. Okay? All of them got on stage and it was a mess. Except for Mario. Mario, I've always loved him. He's very, um, just, yeah, we'll talk about all of them because I do feel like it's going to be a long reading. Rather than breaking it up into each member, I'd rather just put it all here. So we're going to see first B2K. That's the drama we're going to look at first. Then we're going to look at Mario and how he views Omarion. But we're going to start with B2K first. So B2K and Omarion. We're going to start with them first. And then we're going to work into Mario. Then we're going to get a little bit into Ray J just a little bit, but not really. So, so far, I asked Spirit, show me what I need to see. And I received the King of Cups. Now we know that Omarion is a Scorpio. King of Cups is Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, okay? But it can also be um, someone that's very emotional, basically. Someone that's very empathetic, but in a strong way, basically. So I got the King of Cups. Now, this is not really necessarily Omarion, even though Omarion is a Scorpio. This is more so of the offer that the Divine has granted Omarion. So now they're talking about Omarion, okay? This was an offer that he couldn't refuse. This was the time, actually. Now, the reason why his ancestors are disappointed, this is about Omarion. His ancestors are disappointed in him, actually, because this was that moment to reconcile. 
this entire thing was to put your differences aside and to come together. The Six of Cups shows up saying this is these are your childhood friends or these are the people that were there for you in the beginning before you were Omarion. So this was actually his opportunity to extend himself and to let bygones be bygones. Because even though he has said that he has, I have always said this about Omarion. And if you're a Scorpio, do not take fault or do not feel insulted by this because this is just a general observation that I have noticed with Scorpios. They don't forgive easily. Even though Mario says, oh, I'm over it. I've moved past it. Kumbaya, namaste. Scorpios never forget. And sometimes that can be their downfall because Scorpios are actually very beautiful people. But when you when they feel like you have crossed them in any way, it's just very hard for them to go back to that place, basically. And because of that, Omarion is or is having a hard time being his true self in a sense of really embracing his bandmates, really embracing them as a whole, basically. So this was actually his opportunity to make amends and make this right. But yes, aside from him just being a Scorpio, it has nothing to do with just his star sign. It has a lot to just do with the fact that he's not over a lot of the things that did take place. We're going to talk about um, Jay Boog and everybody else, but this is just more of Omarion's perspective. But his ancestors are disappointed is what I'm hearing. Yeah, Scorpios are beautiful people. It's just um, if they do forgive you and they're able to move forward, that's a big thing. Because again, they don't forget or forgive very easily when they were wrong or they felt that they were disrespected or betrayed. They just don't. That's not it. And I know there's, there could be people that say, oh, that's not true. I'm a Scorpio and I forgive people. How long did it take for you to forgive them though? How long did it take for you to get past it? Now, I'm not, and I'm not talking about the surface shit. I'm talking about the stuff that really attacked you and it caught you by surprise and you were nothing but good to that person. It takes Scorpio a very long time to move past it. Okay? They do, but it takes them time because from their standpoint, how could you do this to me? So this is more of Omarion's standpoint. And he has other placements, but he definitely has a lot of Scorpio energy in him. So he might have a stellium or he might have other placements in Scorpio. So shout out if you're a Scorpio or have Scorpio placements. Is it hard for you to move past it when somebody betrays you? And no answer is the wrong answer, by the way. If you are a Scorpio and you just can't shake what that person did because that's the ultimate betrayal, by all means, I'm not here to say you're wrong for that. It's just sometimes, right, if you are put in a position where you have to work with these pe with people, you know, you could end up looking like you're sour, even though you have a point, you know? So it's kind of like when it comes to working and dealing with other people, you have to be the bigger person, but you just have some that are not willing to do that because it's like, no, I never received an apology. I'm not moving past it. And keep in mind, these are men. It's not like women where women are going to be beefing for 10, 20, 50 years and then they just never talk and they're always just, you know, it's not that. Men will literally have issues and then handle it right then and there. But this actually runs deep because someone is not acknowledging where they went wrong. So we're going to see who that is. And that's why this is still continuing on. He was receiving this opportunity to make amends. Because believe it or not, B2K should have actually had more accolades than this. And they should have been able to continue on a tour or did something where they were getting money from their attributes from back in the day. So this was his opportunity. And interesting enough, there was a woman that advocated for the versus battle to come about for the early 2000 R&B singers and the mid 2000s. This was their opportunity. Okay, but five of swords, that's not what ended up happening. A lot of discord took place. The four of swords. And then we have strength. Alrighty. And then we have the six of swords. So they're not going to make amends 
because Omarion is still not over what happened. He's not over Fizz taking April from him. He's not over the betrayal aspect of things. He's not over it. Now, I want to look into Jay Bug's point of view because he left the entire, he left a long paragraph about why Omarion got him fucked up. So, we're going to see from his point of view. So, that's Omarion's take. He has not really forgiven the bandmates. He hasn't. He has not forgiven the bandmates at all. He acts like he has, but he hasn't. Okay. So let's look at Jay. How does Jay Bug view Omarion? Well, it's obvious how he views him, but show me his emotions towards Omarion. Seven of Pentacles. He's Seven of Cups. He's confused by Omarion. It's just kind of like, I don't understand. You brought me here. I did it. And now you acting weird. I didn't do anything to you. So this is Jay Bug's point of view. He's like, I didn't do anything to you for you to treat me like this. If anything, I was a casualty of a war that I was never a part of. I'm just being written off of that. And I didn't get to make money. I didn't get to secure a legacy because you are mad. So let's see. Two of Pentacles, the Five of Cups. He's disappointed in Omarion. Omarion's ancestors wanted him to make it right. And J-Book actually thought that would be the case. He's disappointed in Omarion. So when he was attacking Omarion and saying all of these things, it wasn't coming from a place of, I'm going to F you up and you're stupid. It was coming from a place of, you were supposed to be my brother and you really let all of this attention get the best of you. You let this entitlement, you let all of this get into your head to where you're going to turn your back on your brothers. You're going to turn your back on your homies. Now, you know how men feel about brotherhood, child. You know how men feel about brotherhood. Brotherhood is a very big thing. You got these men, they'll do whatever they want to women and whomever. But if you cross the line with a friend, if you cross the line with a brother, they can't seem to look past that. Just like they can't look past that, um, you know, people lying and betraying them. Men are actually more sensitive than they lead on. And so this is showing that this really hurt him. In many ways, it hurt him financially and it hurt him in a sense of how do I trust men? How do I trust men? Because you did all of this so you could be accepted. So it's kind of giving the vibe that Omarion sold himself to be Omarion. And Jay Bug always remained true. And he was always relatively very quiet. Very quiet. And there's a regret here of saying, I should have spoken up more. I should have said more. I should have done more. I should have, I should have really taken this seriously. I should there was an offer. He was approached before Omarion. He was approached. He was approached before Omarion to be a solo artist. That's I don't know if he mentioned that because I, I wasn't going to read that long letter. Sorry, J Book. I was just not going to read that because I like to just kind of walk in readings, not knowing too much of the details because I honestly don't know everything that was said. I didn't watch the versus battle. I only saw clips of it and majority of them sounded horrible. But anyways, um... He was approached before Omarion and Jay Boog, well, he didn't make a mistake, but he's like, well, I'm still in this group and I don't want to do that to my brothers. Omarion, on the other hand, shit, okay, I'm going to be a solo artist. So this disappointed him because it's saying you had a choice. You had a choice. You had something good. No matter where you were going to turn, it would have worked out for you. But you chose yourself. When I should have chose myself, I had the opportunity to choose myself. So that's how Jay Boog is looking at it. How does he feel, Omarion? Yeah, and this reading was highly requested, actually. <laughs> because I'm like, you know what? While the Zodiac is uploading, because it's, it's taking a sweet old time. Let's get into this because this will probably upload a little bit faster. I don't know. It just happens that way. He feels like Omarion's being petty. It's like, you know what? I never fell into it. I never 
And that's one thing I will say about Jake Book. It's like I never gave in to it. I never addressed it. I never called you out. Because at the end of the day, I wanted to see you win. I never did that. But now you got me all the way messed up. And you're making me look like I'm just some backup singer. When I had the opportunity to do what I had to do and take over if I wanted to. I chose not to because I chose brotherhood. I chose that. And it ended up hurting me in the end. Because I had the opportunity to. So he sees Omarion as being very childish and very petty. He sees Omarion as a... I heard the word clown. Ooh. Damn. It's not that he hates him. He's disappointed in him. He's disappointed in him. And he sees him as someone that just isn't honest. Like he's only told his side of the story. Actually, no. It's like you never really told the story correctly. We just look like a whole bunch of bitter band members when no, you did this. You caused this. You are the reason why we did not progress. And you're still petty to this day. 20 years later, you're still petty. You're still petty. So it's like, you know what? I'm tired of it. I'm going to say it. I had the opportunity. I turned it down. You had the... And then what's weird is... um. I'm even, okay, I'm seeing a man. It's like a big man. I don't know if he was in charge of B2K. Now, there's a lot of controversy around B2K with what has happened and what Rasby has said and Omarion said that never happened. There's this big man that I'm seeing that Omarion was either close to or this, this could be a manager, a mentor. He's like a big guy is what I'm seeing. And it's almost like I went to him. I went to J Boog. He said no. So I'm going to go to Omarion because I know Omarion, he's going to get that. He's going to do what he's got to do to become that. He's going to put us on. He's going to take us to the next level. Because the other dudes, they're a little bit too sensitive. They're a little bit too emotional. Omarion, he's going to get it done. And that evaluation of Omarion was correct. Because Omarion, aside from all of the other bandmates, Omarion was very ambitious. So J-Book doesn't respect that when he had the opportunity to choose his brothers and he had the opportunity to do the right thing, he chose himself and looked out for himself. Then never really explained what happened. He also feels like he hid behind what Lil Fizz did. It's kind of like, you know what? You look like you're right because of what Lil Fizz did. And yeah, what Lil Fizz did was wrong. But don't hide behind what Lil Fizz did because you're not innocent. <laughs> so Jay Boog is like, I see it for what it is. Like everybody's all outraged and upset, Team Omarion. But it's like all of this is a deflection of all the other things that he has done. Because granted, yes, Lil Fizz was wrong. And this is why Lil Fizz felt away too. Granted, Lil Fizz is not innocent. But it's like, wow, you're really holding on to this. You're really making me out to be this monster when you are the reason why X, Y, and Z happened. So they all feel like Omarion looked out for himself and chose himself. It's giving like um, if there was a TV show and the TV show was kind of coming to an end, the cast or not the cast, the director is going to choose the best actor or the person that they feel could be a breakout star and say, hey, you want your own spinoff? You want your own TV show? And boom, he gets a spinoff and the spinoff is more popular than the show itself. And now... The, the show itself, they're becoming guest stars of the spinoff. You know, they're going to feel away if it wasn't agreed upon that that was going to be a thing. So that's why I always wondered, why does Fizz feel away? You know, he was wrong. And it's like, because he's not admitting what he did. Everything fell apart after the B2K movie. That that movie, Stump the, Stump the Yard. That's what it's called. Everything went left after that movie because they were supposed to do more after that movie notice they stopped like everything kind of went down here after that movie so that's how j book feels now is it true that omarion can't sing because that's um what's being said j book revealed you know we broke up because of a girl you got jealous and you told then what happened and that broke up the group and you broke us up because we all trusted in each other 
We have the sun reverse, the death card reverse. Oh shit. Then I reshuffle the cards. Did they break up because of a girl? Death reverse. The yes. Yeah, so J-Book was telling the truth. Everything that J-Book said, he is speaking from his truth because that is his perspective. That is his perspective. Okay. So. I want to look at Omarion now because I'm hearing. Because now Omarion. It's crazy how I can see where everybody's coming from. Omarion's ancestors is very big on you should have just, you should have handled this, but you continue to let this hurt, hurt you. You can't sit in that. You have to release it. You have to let this go because it makes you look like you're bitter. It makes you look like you can't move forward. And Omarion, he has done good, but it's like, this is making people question your character. You should have just moved past it, especially if you're reaching out to them to make money with them and make amends with them. Like you need to keep your word with that. You need to keep that same energy. You have to. Otherwise, it's going to look like it's going to look very backstabbing. It's going to look very shady. You know what I'm saying? So again, scorpionic placements. My thing is this. This is all I'm going to say. If you feel that you cannot move past it, even though you know it's the right thing to do and you feel like, you know what, I can't right now, honor that. Honor that feeling, please. Honor that feeling because that's better than acting like you're past it and now you're doing stuff or now you're being passive aggressive or being indirect. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if you're still feeling a way about it, if you're still upset, that's your right. But don't go reach out to them. Don't try to put your differences aside because it's going to come out through your actions because you're not past it. You're not. So that's my best advice to anyone that has like Scorpio placements, Aries placements, Leo placements. That's my biggest advice. Um, even cancer placements. If it's still bothering you, don't say yes. Don't accept it. Don't even be the bigger person. Just be like, I'm not ready to talk about it. I'm not ready to deal with it. No matter how long it takes. Because now you look wrong. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's just, um. and granted, if it's about making money and putting your differences aside, then make money and put your differences aside. You know what I'm saying? Make money and put your differences aside. But some people can't do that. That's just that's just how I would take it. Like if you can't do it, don't do it. Don't lie to yourself for the greater good. Cause now it's backfiring. Because Jay Book, here's the thing, Jay Book was never gonna say anything. That's the thing. And that that's the thing. But Omarion, he's been he's given he's been given way too many chances. And he's been getting away with a lot. It's like, you know what? This happened and that was unfortunate. What he did, that was wrong. But you always looked out for yourself. You never considered the band. You always wanted to make it seem like you were, you know, the victim here. And that's not entirely true. You never owned up to your part. You're very stuck on what happened to you, but you're not stuck on what happened to us. You're not stuck on how that made him feel. You're not behaving like a brotherhood. It was always you and the producers in them against us. I never said anything. Like, that's how J-Book feels. It's like, if you still feel away, if you still feel salty, why did you bring me here? Why did you ask me to come here? Because you needed something. So now you see what I'm saying? That's that's not good. That's not good. And that all boils down to not being honest with yourself because of pride. Okay. The Eight of Swords. Omarion has not moved past it. And Jay Boog is going to call it out. And Jay Boog is like, I was able to move past everything you did. I was able to. I was able to work with you and break bread with you if that's what it meant. If it meant that all of us were going to share a table together. If all of us were going to do what we had to do. But you want to be the Beyonce of the group. Not even Beyonce treats Destiny's Child like that, like that. You know what I'm saying? 
So I see where Jay Boog is coming from, and I do respect his viewpoint on it, and I do believe that he's making sense here. Can Omarion sing? Five of Wands. Other people were helping him with his vocal, so oh, Jay Boog's telling the truth about that. He can carry a tune, but other people were carrying his voice, helping it, enhancing it. He was approached to be the lead singer of the group. He was. But he's like, nah, give it to Omarion. Like, it's fine. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. So now he's realizing maybe I should have did that. Maybe I should have just... I should have looked out for me the way you were looking out for yourself because I was looking out for everyone. And I believe J-Book is a Leo. That is a Leo trait. Looking out for everyone. Being a leader in that way and say, you know what? If that's what you want to do, I'll fall back. And, you know, because I know my power and I know where I stand. He wasn't expecting Omarion to choose himself. Omarion sees it as... Let me see how Omarion sees it. Because I don't want to say that Omarion is a bad person. I just think the things that he has done based on this reading, you know, it's a little petty. It's a little petty. It's a little petty. And it's all boiling down to you didn't forgive them. You didn't forgive them. If you're not going to forgive these men, don't bring them to the table. But he needed them at the table to get what he needed. But still, it still doesn't look good. And this is how karma works what goes around comes around so the nine of wands the seven of swords the five of pentacles so he omarion feels like okay um okay this is omarion's take it's like you know what everybody wasn't making a decision i had to do what i had to do because i wasn't going to stop my career because one person is doing X, Y, and Z. I wasn't going to stop where I wanted to go because of all of this drama that's got absolutely nothing to do with me. So Omarion was very much so, if it's going to affect my career, I'm going to look out and defend myself. That doesn't mean I don't love y'all. That doesn't mean I don't care about y'all. I'm about my money. And I'm about taking myself to the next level. If you guys are down with that, I'm down with that. But if it's all of this, no, we got to do this, we got to do it, and all of this drama, the drama is not going to take me to the next level. It's not. I have an opportunity. I'm going to do it. If anything, I trusted you guys, and y'all betrayed me. Y'all betrayed my trust. Y'all did that. Y'all hurt me. So I did what I had to do. So don't make it seem like I'm this evil person. No, I did what I did because I heard that y'all felt a way that I was doing what I had to do. So it seems like all of these men, are no offense, are kind of moving like housewives. All of y'all are just doing all of this shady shit to each other or y'all feel like y'all were shady towards each other, but y'all never really addressed it. Interesting. But I will say, Jay Bug, I don't feel like he was being shady. I just feel like he always took a seat back. This was more Fizz and Omarion and even Rasby to an extent. Jay Bug always kind of was just watching. So this is why he's able to stand 10 toes down in what he's saying. So Omarion feels like I did what I had to do because we were running out of money. We were running out of opportunity. Why is that? When we were making numbers and we were doing what we had to do. Why is that? J-Bug. I can actually hear them arguing. I can hear them going back and forth. They're going to have a sit down. There is a sit down that's coming up. There is a sit down that's coming up. I don't know who's there's a sit down that's coming up. It's going to be Omarion and J-Bug. There is a sit down that's coming up. And Omarion's just going to be like, why did you, why did you say that? Why did you do that? And it's like, because it's true. I said it because it's true. I did what I did because it's true. And mind you, Omarion is going to he wants to have this conversation with him outside of the media because, again, he's promoting spiritual unbothered, but is showing very bothered. And he allowed pride and his ego to get the best of him, not thinking that Jay Book was going to react, and he did. Show me Jay Book in the situation. We have. Yeah, there's a sit down coming. He stands on his own. He's standing in his truth about how he feels. He's not changing his mind. 
So even when the sit down happens and when this conversation takes place, he's not backing down from his sentiments. It's like, you know what? I don't care that you needed other people to help you sing on a track. I don't care about that because, you know, I love you. You were my, you were my brother. That was that. And I said, you know what? Be the star. Okay. You were threatened that your career was not going to be where it needed to be. We started having issues within the group outside of that drama. Okay. We all confided in one another and talked about it. And the reason why Omarion went solo is, is, is I'm also hearing he feels betrayed by Jay Book because again, Jay Book was approached first. Let's remember that. Jay Book was approached first. That's what I'm that's what I'm hearing. He was approached first. For whatever reason that bothered Omarion. But here's the thing, he didn't take it. He didn't take it. You took it. Jay Book didn't. You took the opportunity. So in a way, Omarion felt betrayed because it's like, wait, so he went behind your back and asked that of you? What did you say? What, 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 what was it? And Omarion never trusted that Jay Boog was telling the truth. And because the group was already having drama outside of that drama, and then there was a woman that came in. Omarion liked the woman I'm seeing. But I'm hearing she had feelings for someone else. She, Fizz? I think she had feelings for Fizz. Did she have feelings for Fizz? Fizz was the guy that all of the girls liked. Yeah, it was becoming a love triangle. So Omarion like, so, oh, oh, okay. That's why Omarion feels betrayed. And that's why he doesn't feel bad for anything that he did. Okay, because I'm getting into like the core of it. There was like a small little lover's quarrel that happened here. But Fizz was about to get the girl. But I don't think Fizz was even trying to be with anybody at that time because he had a lot of options. Fizz was always that guy. Because listen, back in the day, I remember when B2K came out. It was Fizz. It was Fizz and J-Bug. Like Omarion was there. I loved Omarion. But a lot of the girls growing up with me, it was always Fizz or J-Bug. Always, 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 always. This is a lot. This is explaining why Omarion hasn't forgiven them. Because for Omarion, it's like, okay, a girl did break them up. This is the truth. A girl did break them up. Nothing sexual happened with this girl or anything. I'm not seeing that. And if it did, I'm being blocked from seeing that. But what I'm hearing is there was a girl here. Was it that girl from the Stump the Yard movie? The, 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 the pretty girl in the movie? And wasn't she on My Wife and Kids? I think it was her because I keep seeing her face. <sighs> I probably should have did research before I did this reading, but I like walking in these readings blindly. If you know more about it, then let me know. But if something else came out where it said they broke up because of this reason, another reason why they broke up, Omarion liked a girl or liked someone, but the girl was maybe talking to Fizz. I don't even think the girl was trying to date anybody. The girl was just having more fun with Fizz. Omarion saw that and Omarion got jealous. But Omarion, you know, he like kept him to himself. Then from Omarion's standpoint, the producers and the directors, whatever, they're going behind Omarion to talk to Jay Boog. You want to be the leader because Omarion can't sing. Omarion heard about that. So not only... Just the girl that he likes is talking to Fizz, but Jay Book got the offer before Omarion. So Omarion reacted and went to the girl. Okay, Omar, that's that's what I'm picking up on. Omarion reacted. Three, see, it's a three party. He he reacted. Six of Pentacles reverse. He reacted. Went to the girl for his nine of cups and exposed Fizz or said something. He did. He did something. Yep. Yep. Not realizing that Jay Boog didn't take the offer. Jay Boog did not take the offer. Jay Boog did not take the offer. Then they go back to Omarion. Omarion feeling betrayed, not knowing all of the details, made the decision, I'm going to do it. Not realizing that Jay Boog was looking out for Omarion and just didn't take the opportunity. So he's thinking Fizz betrayed him. In a way, he's thinking Fizz betrayed him. 
But it's like, no, you betrayed us because that none of that even happened. It looked like it did, but it didn't. You went behind our back and told them, and now we're kicked out of the group. Because another thing, another reason why is Omarion, something was exposed. And because of that, and because that was exposed, they shut down the group. Rasby, this is now this is coming back to Rasby. Rasby was getting ready to sue or he was getting ready to tell. He was getting ready to tell. And I'm going to say this. It really does look like Omarion is, the, is quietly the villain. But something about this reading is telling me Omarion was just reacting because he thought that they were betraying him. When in actuality, they weren't. It was just really all miscommunication. But Omarion reacted too soon. He was much younger at the time. And because the producers and whomever was backing Omarion, he took their side and said, no, what you're saying is not true. Oh my God, that's a lot. So now Omarion grows because they invested in him. He starts to have a career and then, you know, here comes Chris Brown. Ciao. And then the rest of history, here comes Chris Brown. Now Chris Brown and Omarion doesn't have beef. But Chris Brown came in raw talent and swept everything up he came in swinging and he's been swinging ever since in his own right wow i didn't think i was gonna break down the whole b2k drama but i'm gonna say this because i know you guys may know more information than i do remember i walked in this reading not knowing all of the details if there are other things that happened that came out that and that's the reason why they broke up great but this is a reading and I'm looking at the in-betweens. That's what that's what Terrell does. I'm looking in the in-between, not the facts that you can look on Wikipedia. Not dismissing the facts, but there's so much more to this. And this is it's a tight web. It's a very tight web. And what's sad about this is Rasby seems to be the casualty of this war. And Jay Boog is like, I really could have been that guy. I really could have shut this down and you did this thinking this happened and it didn't. You should have came to me. You should have talked to me. You should have spoke to me. But I became your op indirectly, but you could never have an issue with me. Hence why you approached me to do it. And I agreed because I thought we were going to make amends, but you're still on that. And that's not. Wow. So Jay Boog is right. Jay Boog is right. So now... Let's look at Omarion. No, let's, let's look at Mario. So I thought I was going to get into Mario a little bit, but no, this became the B2K reading. Didn't expect that, but hey, we're here. Show me Mario. How does Mario feel? Mario is just happy that he's getting the recognition that he deserves. Mario is going to be coming out with an album. Mario is going to... um be placed back on the charts mario is okay he's actually experiencing his jupiter return so mario he's standing in his strength right now he's resting how does omario feel how does mario feel about omarion all of their names kind of sound similar to me i'm sorry he feels weird about Omarion. It's like, I never did anything to Buddy, and he's acting very weird. He's acting, he doesn't like that Omarion is very arrogant. He feels like Omarion is arrogant. That's how Omar, that's how Mario feels about Omarion. Yeah, he's confused. It's like, what's your issue with me? So Mario is like, what is your issue? I don't have an issue. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I don't have an issue. How does he feel towards Ray J? How does he feel towards Ray J? Six of Cups reversed, the Knight of Cups reversed, the Death card. He thought Ray J was at least like cordial or decent, but it's like, I'm keeping my distance from all of you. I'm keeping my distance from all of you. So Mario just kind of stands on his own in this reading. He's not in all of this B2K mess, but it's more so like, don't disrespect me because I have never disrespect any of you. But you know what? Since you guys want to disrespect me and try me, I'm going to win this versus battle. And I'm going to show up and show out. And that's what I'm going to do. And that's what he did. Good for you, Omario. Good for you. Why was Omarion eating the watermelon on stage, Lord? It was just a very ghetto, strange, chaotic versus battle. And then Ray J's holding a heavy baby, singing out of tune and drunk. 
And then we have these men, they're all like measuring their dicks on stage. It's this ego trip. And in the midst of it, Jay Boogie like, you know what? I'ma just, I'ma just show up. So that explains why Omarion hasn't moved past Fizz. Because to Omarion, it's like, you did it back then, you're doing it now. And then the Rasby drama came about. That's crazy. That's crazy. So, yep, Omarion got exposed. So where does this leave Omarion? Where does this leave? Well, well damn, the unbothered phase and the, 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 the mask, it fell off. Where does Omarion fit in? Omarion gets a lot of advice from his mother. His mother's going to tell him to calm it down. More drama is coming. The mom is going to step in saying enough. Yeah, Omarion, if he continues to do this, it's not going to end well for him. It's already not ending well for him. There is an opportunity to speak it out. Yes. So a conversation is going to be had again. They're going to try again. That's what I'm seeing. Yes, they're going to try again. They will. Will it end? Well. It doesn't go anywhere. Okay. It does they move past it and they move on for good. They they're not able to reconcile. They're not. They're not. In order for this to even work, Omarion needs to forgive. And he needs to own up to where he went wrong. That's it. And you know what? I trust that Omarion is a good enough person to do that. Because I do see in this reading, he's reacting because he felt that he was betrayed. But if anything, everybody kind of reacted too soon. We're adults. We're grown. If a conversation can be had, let that happen. I do feel Omarion has to look past what's being said and listen to how... These actions affected us in our own way. And we have been able to forgive you. So can you forgive us? And if you can't, don't bring me here. Don't ask me to show up. Omarion has to forgive. Okay? Omarion has to forgive. And Fizz, he has to clear the air and speak up for himself. They will never be able to make amends if this energy still is here. And that's unfortunate. And this is why his ancestors, Omarion's ancestors are upset. Jay Boog doesn't care no ways. It's more so for him, it is what it is. But I said what I said. Let me know how you guys felt about this reading. Um, I didn't have much to say about Mario because Mario is actually in a Jupiter return and he's gonna be doing very well. Ray J is Ray J. I would love to hear your input on this reading. Leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was a long breakdown because I was hearing all the information coming in. But I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.